will do welcome to this video lead tutorial in this and like video lead tutorial I'm going to show you how to use one of the new tools which is motion tracking really simple and it'll be a real quick tutorial so I've just got this video clip of me walking past and um, slowly just so it gives me something to track and demonstrate this um, this tutorial for you so you notice I've got my timeline selected and there's nothing in the toolbars that allows me to track because we've got nothing to track or nothing to assign to the movement or the motion that I want to track and in this instance I'm going to use my foot so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to create some text and we're going to track that to the motion of my foot as it walks past the screen there are a few limitations with it and I'll point those out as we go along so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select some text and then double click and let's just call it um, track test simple and then with the text selected once the text is selected, you'll notice on the bottom left hand side, we've now got this option to track. Um, so let me just decrease this. And just for the sake of highlighting where that text is, I'm just going to create a fill or a background for that text. Um, let it be black. I'm going to increase the op opacity up slightly. So I'll bring the opacity up to 80. And then this softness, and this is quite a nice effect, this softness just like makes it like a, um, a Gaussian blur type um, effect of the shape of the background. So I'll just increase the softness and now we've got this text that's not assigned to anything to track anything. So with the text selected, if I just move along, so we've got something in the clip that we can track, we can motion track, I'm going to select tracking. And now with the tracking on the text, I've got this little anchor point. So just a point to note on this, if this anchor point is far away, the text, the track test, test, text, should have used different words, right? Is going to stay that far away from the subject. Let me give you a demonstration. Click start tracking. So now as I move, that track test um, text is going to, like I said, stay that far away from the point that I tracked it to. So let's go back. Let's select the text again. Go back to tracking and click reset. If I want this to stay close to the object that I am motion tracking, I need to put the anchor point a little bit closer. So if we move a little bit further along the timeline and then I bring this right here next to the foot and then I click track, bring the anchor point right in like so and click start tracking. Now when I move that track text is going to move along with the object that I've assigned it to and it's going to stay that close to it. So just remember that anchor point, if the anchor point's far away, that text is going to move far away. If I move off the screen, the text will move off the screen with it, but wouldn't come back on if I come on the screen. Once it's off the screen, it's tracked it off the screen and it's not, and it's not coming back on. So if you wanted to bring the text in again, you would have to do a new track. Um, a new motion track to the object that you wanted to track it to. Another point is if this was real fast movement, it would probably look a little bit sloppy. So it probably wouldn't keep up as much as you wanted it to keep up with. So um, really great tool. It's about time they bought this type of thing in. I would just like to see Enlight bring some sort of call outs and stuff like that out now so that you can motion track a call out and um, just some little tools like that. So it just makes your video editing um, a lot more usable and you could use it for more things. So yeah, that's motion tracking. Great move by Enlight, um, by Light Tricks, and hopefully they bring in um, some tools to go with it. Take care, everybody. Any questions, put them in the, uh, in the comments below. Speak to you all soon. Bye.